Yes, guys, let's talk more about England. Let's talk about England and Gareth Southgate. And the one thing I've realised lately, lately, Jack, is that has Gareth Southgate made England more overrated? Because let me talk about this right now because I speak to a lot of pe uh, people talking about the World Cup and how and like, and how nearby the World Cup is and I talk about the expectations of it. And I'm hearing semi-finals, finals. I'm looking at the, like, at the betting odds. Some people might have England's second favourite to win the World Cup. Uh -huh, now, this, right. now this has all come from semi-finals of the world of like the last World Cup, a final of the Euros where England made it true, you know, nice like nice and safely. We know the English media, how they talk about the England team and the players there, and I'm hearing how super talented this team is and all that sort of stuff there. And I go, really? I don't think this England team is that super duper talented compared to the rest of the field, Jack. You know, I look back at England's best teams and I believe that England's best teams, player for player, trumps this team. I think, the, to me, the difference is from what I've seen is that recent England teams, first of all, have been able to connect with the British public a little bit more than past England teams. And right. also, Jack, they've, they've also been able, they've, they've, they've had a decent ride like looking at the team that they've been able to face but they've also been able to conquer the demons but from what i hear about like oh the, the this is the jack Grealish is the field forward and this is the best english most talented we've ever seen the fa is doing a great job i'm like listen you guys are good but if england let's say get to the semi-finals quarterfinals to me technically it's, it's like a success our england better than brazil would you say jack no, well, I admit. Well, first, would of you all, say they're well, better than France? No, man, absolutely not. Would no, you say mate, that you they're could, better than James, James. We're going to be here for a long time if you're going to name elite international football teams. No, trust but me, no, right? but no, but this is to me. This is what I'm saying. Like, no, no, I, I'm, yeah. I'm saying to you, I, I'm saying to you, I agree. But what I'll say regarding Gareth Southgate and, and them being overrated, they have to be rated at all to be then overrated, right? There was a time and a narrative and a rhetoric and a mindset in this country, which was we're bottle jobs, we're terrible, right? We're la we're kind of laughing stocks a little bit. And like you said, the talent for those old teams is undeniable. You look at that, you know, the midfield was always notoriously a bit Crazy. of a joke when it came to England, right? Absolutely. Um, and I think to Gareth Southgate's point, it's fun to play for England. I guarantee you ask any of the players, that is a fun environment to go into. Players are excited and, 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 and relaxed and chilled to go and play for England. A semi-final in a World Cup and a final in a Euro are not to be sniffed at. The proof is in the pudding there. That's not something those other really great, talented teams did, right? And I think it proves to you that this is a team sport about relationships. And raw talent alone gets you absolutely nowhere. I mean, don't get me wrong, it might get you somewhere, but it's never going to get you to the top of the top, right? Now, in the position where they're at now, yeah, oh, absolutely, we're overrated. We're talking, this is ridiculous. I think Jude Bellingham, James, has a chance to be a great all-time English central midfielder, right up there with Gerard, Lampard, Scholes, any of those names that get mentioned. I really do. I think he's that kind of talent. I think especially in the fullback positions, do I look at like a Reese James, Trent Alexander-Arnold, players of that nature, and do I think that they can be, be up there competing with the, with the Ashley Coles and the great fullbacks? Yeah, absolutely. Declan Rice, maybe a different style to what we've had before. Again, maybe not going to hit the same potential. But in terms of talent, yeah, no, this is... This, Kane's great, sure, right? But not Luke Shaw. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> S-U-R-E, just to clarify. Um but no, overrated, absolutely. James, I'm, I'm looking at betting odds now and most companies have them as third favourites. You are absolutely joking if you think England are going to... That that basically means that they're going to be in a semi-final. That's what that's what that says. If you're a third favourite, it means you're, you're a shoe-in for a semi-final. Like you said there, James, I'm looking at the team scrolling down past here and I'm scrolling for a little while to see a team that I think England are better than and in a knockout competition will convincingly beat. I really am. Yeah, you know, I people... People forget that World Cup semi-final, James. That was a pretty easy, nice run, right? We were not playing the elite of, of, of international football at that point. Um, and again, to, to your point about overrated and maybe is it coming to an end here soon, I, I'm going to say that it feels to me like Southgate's kind of done all he can do all he can do i don't know if gareth i mean man management is a huge part of football management as you um you know as you well know 
right? I think he's made the environment for England a fun and good one to come in for so that England can have success, which we've seen. Okay, success is trophies, but in terms of what you've done, semi-finals, finals, yeah, tick, great. But it's that next step. It's beating Italy in a final. It's coming up against Brazil in a quarters or a semis or whatever and being able to beat them even though you're not the better team. I don't think so. Gareth Southgate's the tactical manager to be able to kind of do that. Um, Jack, I do agree with you with certain parts. I look at this England team and there's certain bits that I like about it. I look at previous England teams and I look at this England team. So, and I ask myself, how many players would get into previous England teams? I'm talking about England at their pump. 2006, 2002, 2004. Those were some top quality sides there. I look at the fullback area. I think you guys are excelling in. You know, Not based on results though. That's one thing I'll say. On talent, I'll agree with you for that 2006, etc. But on talent, for sure. But James, this England team has outperformed that old England team. Yeah, but Jack, I listen. I totally get that. But you look at the team that they also went out to. So they went out to a great Germany team, a great Portuguese team, a great French, uh, no, a great Brazilian team. So it wasn't like they were going out to no. like if they came up against a Croatia at a certain point in Italy, where like yeah. to, to me where they are, it's a, it might be a completely different game. But I do understand from this point of view. I do remember 2016 in England really bottling it and really I've never seen football players get, get shocked on a football field the way oh, I was, I've I've, seen I was in Barcelona in a bar watching that guy that, game. Listen, that, that was fun. horrible and for yeah. me what Gareth Salke has been able to do and, thir- and like turn that around because trust me going into the 2018 World Cup that was the first time ever that there was no expectation going into World Cup ring Jack because I Jack I remember 20 Jack, I remember 20 like like 2006 I remember two, two, 2010 was crazy that was the first time that there was no expectations there and what they achieved there and and how they were able to bring the nation together was crazy you're like um euros a few years ago that was mad also but to me when i look at where england are i say fair play to you from what you have done but at some point you guys are going you guys are going to come against a match bigger and better than you now if they are able to answer that question and beat a Brazil, beat a France, beat an Argentina, then we can have a different discussion. But I, I yep, I agree. I agree. I'm but, not gonna get I'm not gonna get gassed up about beating teams that were better than. That's one another thing that bothers me. England beat Iran or England beat the US. Does that make us favourites for the tournament? I don't think so. And again, you know, there was that whole debacle as well in the last World Cup about taking the easy route, right? That was kind of that was a thing. That was there was a narrative but, out there for, for that but, kind of thing. Here's what I'll say, just kind of my final thing on, on Gareth Southgate. Yeah, he should have this World Cup. He deserves this World Cup. But afterwards, if it's somewhat underwhelming and, and we, you know, lose to a team that we're equal to or, or you know, uh, equal equal to or worse than, which is, again, something I can I can see happening or, or get convincingly beaten by just a better team, then I think it's probably time to move on. James, th- this to me, and again, I'm, I'm 27. I'm not the oldest guy ever, not been around the block as much as, um, as, much as uh, other members of the British public out there. Apart from Sir Alf Ramsey... I think this is probably the best England manager that's ever been, right? Just in terms of just general feeling and aura around the England team. But I think it only. Well, but I think <laughs> I think it only I think it only gets you so far, though, mate. I do the the fun and enjoyment and excitement and togetherness with the nation and all that lovely like talk and warm fuzzy feeling stuff. I don't care. I want metal lifted in the air because we've won something. That has to has to be the goal. And James. As much as we could have been here listing nine, ten teams better than England going into this current World Cup, there's talent enough in this England team that it's not out of the realms of possibility of winning it. I but, don't think chances are high, but is there a chance, however small? Yeah, I think there is. But Jack, do you not feel like Salke is probably the best option to do that? Because let's just say another England manager comes in and, and tries to do something that England are not, like, tries to play this expansive way that England are not, tries to, I hate this word, dominate possession, that right. England are not, and go against a certain team and England get battered pillar, like, 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 which, pillar, which, like what we've tried to do before. <laughs> you know, and like, get battered pillar to post. We, like, you'll be looking around thinking, what happened? I feel like what Gareth Salke has been able to do has been a credit to him. And yep. also a credit to how he's able to understand the squad he has. Because of all this thing about being expansive, I get it. I, I, I do watch England sometimes and, and we all want them to go go for it. But what he has done, Jack, 
let's be truthfully honest, has been damn right impressive. And like I said, a- apart from Sir Alf Ramsey, who won the damn thing in 1966, this is the best England manager, in, for, for my money, that we've ever had. But James, I would always internationally man it, uh, judge a manager on what his ceiling is or what I believe his ceiling is to be. Now, every manager, especially coming into an England job, like I say, if they're the 10th best team in the world, whatever, coming into an England job, the ceiling of that manager's success needs to be winning a World Cup or winning a Euros. If that's if that's not the ceiling, I don't want you there. The floor can be whatever you want. Not qualifying, not this, not that. As long as there's potential in there for that manager, in, 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 your, in your opinion of what he's trying to get across to the players, trying to bring in, try, a culture trying to bring into the squad, whatever, tactical innovation, the ceiling must be winning the thing. Must be, because if not, there's no point in you being there. There isn't. Um, so, guys, I, it's going to be. I'm going to be judging this World Cup because we've we've had, like you said, Euros World Cup of of, of you know recent memory. I'm going to be judging this World Cup on if we get you know who. So who 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 have we been knocked out by? Right, a, a decent enough Italy team on penalties, sure, but at home, James. Right? How how yeah. often do you get a major tournament final in your home stadium? I would say not so often. No, yeah, that, that, that's one that. He messed up. I think the whole of the, you, you don't get them sort of opportunities. No, that's a gimme. That is a layup, right? Um, and again, Italy, good team, but again, it's not. It's not like we're playing like prime Brazil anyway. Croatia <laughs> weren't knocked out by France. weren't knocked out by the top top team at that point. This tournament's gonna be another thing. Is an equal or or better than team gonna just convincingly beat us? Because that will say to me, because I've looked at the paths in all the most recent tournaments, the moment we've come up against even the slightest bit of, of like real opposition, we get we get knocked out. There's no, never been a time where we go toe to toe with somebody who, who's our happen. level or better and beat them. It's not happened. I, you know, the one thing I would say, the anomaly to that was Germany in, in like in like fair play to England in in, in that situation. They like yeah. they're like getting the job done against Germany, but they got a lot to do, Jack. You know, can James. They? A lot no. to do. And, you know, Argentina haven't lost since when, right? Brazil are just knocking teams over. France are always a wild card and the talent is insane. Crazy. You know, you know Spain and Germany are going to have a, you know, a, a Holland. To, might, to oh, me, Holland are going to have a point to prove. Oof. To me, the, like people... Portugal. The, oh. Like, to me, the Germans, I got a weird fuzzy feeling about, about them. But guys, from the conversation we had, the way Gareth has Gareth Southgate overachieved with this England team is this England team overrated guys comment down below let us know this is box of box football please hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time also like the video next time <laughs>